food four hours, four minutes on each side. Cause my um. <laughs> That gotta be beef gravy. Oh, this your brownie cookie. That look like a muffin. What's up, y'all? We here. I'm just giving y'all a quick little tour of how we lived last night. Look, he got his own special Xbox board to him. And he ain't been playing. Um, cabinet. I don't know what that's for, but this is to hang his stuff in and put his clothes in that we can never use. A little extra couch, the desk, the TV he been hooked on. Y'all see what he watching One Piece ever since they told him he can Chromecast to the TV. That's what he been doing. Um, today's date, they change it every time the nurses switch over. He's big. They always give him a special pillowcase that he could take home with him. Um, the IV, he's done with that bag. They took him off because he's drinking on his own. He's currently in the shower right now, which is inside of there. Um, yeah. Uh, that's my little bed I was sleeping on. Yeah, pulled out. Oops, sorry. I meant to put those in his bag because he was taking a shower, but whatever. My bed where I was sleeping. Um, dinner. He ordered me a burger and fries. The crustable. I don't know who's gonna eat that. Probably him. Coffee from this morning before I left that I didn't finish because I had to go and get on the bus before it left. Um, I guess he ordered pears for himself, grape juices, and that was some type of chicken peanut pasta that I had to call downstairs and tell them they need to send him something else because that wasn't going to fill a whole 17 year old up. Snacks on deck, the phone for him to call and order his food. My chips are still in eat. But look at the view. You see the view? And at nighttime, it is so beautiful. So, yeah, this may not be the best situation, but they sure enough make sure we comfortable. Hey y'all, um, quick update, being that I'm doing a video of the vlog of the emergency and admittance of Rayshawn, um, currently I work 10.30 in the morning on Sunday, um, he's still there, I left this morning around 8 because I had to be to work at 8.30, um, he's just waking up, he just texted me like 10 minutes ago and said he was up, I ordered his breakfast for him before I left, so he's eating that. Um, cultures didn't come back last night like they were supposed to, so we're still waiting for those to come in, and we are still waiting for the infectious doctor to come and see him to see what the course of action is, if he can go home on antibiotics, or if he still needs to be in the hospital to get IV antibiotics. Um, this is our normal routine. Um, if he's in the hospital, I don't normally call out of work because he's feeling good. They just have him there for IV and antibiotic fluids. So he's laying there watching One Piece, which is an anime. He's been watching that since we got in there. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give y'all a quick update, mid video. I will come back with another video when I know what's going on. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Today is Monday, June 24th. Um, it's like eight in the morning. I am heading to work. Oh, I almost killed myself just then. Talking and paying attention to the phone, that's what I did. But, brief update. Um, Rayshawn is still currently in the hospital. He was sleeping when I left. I ordered his breakfast because it has to be ordered by nine and nine times out of 10, he won't be up yet. So he texted me and told me what to order him. I did. 
Um, <clears throat> have to get up early to get on the bus to come back to my side of town to go to work. So I got around early enough to where I was able to go to the house, uh, sit down for a second, make me something to eat to take to work because yesterday I was struggling at work. I was so hungry. All I could do was snack on chips and stuff, but um, he's still there. Uh, the doctor called yesterday. They spoke to the infectious doctor. She wanted 48 hours of his cultures being negative, which would let her know that, um, sorry, good morning. good morning, which would let her know that the salmonella is no more in his bloodstream and they're being extra cautious because he has sickle cell, he did have a stroke before and he has the port. So I get it, but my baby's ready to go home. <laughs> this boy last night was on the phone with his friends um, planning on where they gonna go ride their bikes at when he get out. I'm like, little boy, you do realize you're going to have to take a day or two, right? But he's feeling better, smiling. I would say back to his normal self. Sorry, I got to watch the cars. Stay on here. I would say back to his normal self. Um, their real reason for only keeping him is waiting for the cultures and because they want to continue to give him antibiotics through the IV um he's not on fluids because he's drinking um he's drinking on his own so he's not on iv fluids so that's a plus and the nurses when they switch shifts i'm grateful because he's been getting the same nurses and anytime he's had the same nurse since we've been there sad since saturday um in the morning He's had the same nurses, so he loves them. So I'm cool. Um, but it's funny because every time they switch shifts, the first thing they ask is, Rayshawn, how many bottles of water do we need to bring you today? That boy has been down in water bottles and they bring him 20 ounce water bottles. They'll bring him three at a time. Within an hour or two, Rayshawn needs more waters. So. That's a good thing. That's one of the main things for his sickle cell is for him to stay hydrated. But fingers crossed that the cultures will come back today um, and I'll get the call from the doctor while I'm at work because I'm on alert. So my boss yesterday, I'm gonna come in because I told you I would before this even happened and I'm not gonna just call out um we are short staff i agreed to work the seven days straight so i'm gonna do just that um rayshawn is used to this we've been doing this for 17 years he's at the doctor for the hospital where he has doctors and nurses that can probably do more than i can so for me to go to work for a couple of hours it's not doing nothing because Rayshawn can call me at any time. The doctors can call me at any time. Even though I'm not supposed to be on my phone at work, they already know I'm here. But uh, if I need to answer my phone, I'm gonna do just that. Um, but yeah, just a little quick update while I walk to work. Um, hopefully the next part of the video would be us going home. But if not, I don't care. I just want my baby back to his normal self with no risk of anything because he go through enough as it is. But y'all yeah, continue to take this journey with me. It's a sure enough one. But I just want y'all to be aware and understand that sickle cell is not only the pain that they may feel, it's different stuff that it triggers as well. And this is one of them. But later, y'all.
Hey, 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 y'all. Um, it's currently Tuesday, July 25th. On my way to work. Um, recording this video later than I did the other ones because I already stopped and got my coffee. Um, almost at work at this point. Um, Rayshawn is still in the hospital. The infectious doctor called me yesterday while I was at work and explained everything to me. And what she's basically saying is because the salmonella is in his bloodstream and because he has sickle cell, they can't just treat him as they would a normal person, which I understand because the salmonella can enter into his bones. So they want to make sure that the salmonella is completely cleared of his body before they let him go home. Do I want my baby to be in the hospital all these days? Of course not. Do I want my baby healthy? For sure I do. So, until the doctor says that we can go home, I will continue. <laughs> it's hot to go to work. Go get clothes for the next day. Get him clothes so he can shower. And go back to the hospital with him. Um, FaceTime jazz like I've been doing. Spend time with Junior and Hubby when I go to the house to get clothes for a little bit. But this is my life right now. Um, I just want Ray to feel better. I just want this mess out of his system. This is the summertime. He wants to be riding his bike with his friends going on ride outs and get stuck in the hospital. Oh, it's hot. I'm sweating. I see it. But yeah. So he's still getting IV antibiotics once a day in the hospital. Um, trying to think what else I'm forgetting to tell y'all. He has been drinking on his own, so they haven't needed to give him IV fluids. Actually, it's crazy because he has had the same night nurse since we've been there. And when they switch over shift, when she first comes in, the first thing she says is, how many bottles do I need to bring you a water? Cause she'll bring him three. And within an hour, them three bottles are gone. So then she was joking last night, said I'm just gonna hook the hose up and just let it run in your room. So he's getting the care that he should get. Actually, they're exceeding the care. Um, can't wait to do a review on his visit. Cause although we don't want to be there, they're not making it bad that we are so just made it to work finna clock in get this bag real quick so i can go back to my baby um hopefully the next part of this video will be us being discharged but that is pending the doctor when she called today when she make her rounds because they do labs every night and they are back by the time the doctor comes to see him. So that's how she makes her decision. So fingers crossed, but if he's not healthy, he can stay. Until the next part of the video, y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, quick update before I get on the bus. I just got off work, got the call earlier that Rayshawn was cleared to come home. Just don't know exactly what time. They said either before dinner when I got there or after dinner, but either way he's cleared to go home. Um, they're sending him home on five days of antibiotics to make sure that it clears his system completely. However, the downside is he cannot go back to work until CDC clears him to go to work and I am still waiting on their call um but we get to go home y'all 